do it. Seize, should I say you seize the day, not once, but twice, two rings under your belt. Are you as hungry as you were before you won your first one? I feel like I'm going to be one of the best players to ever touch the two hit league when it's all said and done. So no one has three rings in this league. So just being able to maybe possibly three P in this league, I'm just ready to get um, next season started, to be honest. Nay, describe more about sitting there as a prospect, somebody who wanted to enter the league, and then the kind of work that you put in through the become. Welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. San Francisco, California. The Bay Area is the location for the Clippers. Shooting and defense galore. The winning pair of Kawhi Leonard and Paul George put their team on their backs as they wind up for action from the Chase Center in San Francisco. Clippers. Warriors. And we'll be right back for tip-off. Thanks for spending Valentine's Day with us. We've got a match made in heaven coming your way on 2K Sports. Two slam dunk champs, Grant Hill and Brent Berry, our analysts tonight. Brian Anderson here. We'll hear from Allie the Force as well. Now the opening lineup for the Los Angeles Clippers. Perimeter. It's the talented duo of George and Kawhi. Marcus Morris out there with Mason Plumley, and it's man in at the point. And for the Warriors, Thompson and Wiggins on the wing. Dario Saric is out there with Kaminga, and it's Curry in at the one. Such a critical time of year for a lot of teams, Grant. Everybody jockeying for playoff position. I love it, and we all know how important seeding can be come the postseason. So even teams outside the playoff picture still have time. As long as they make their move now. So the Clippers win the tip. Here's Man against Minnesota. He was really on his game. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backboard violation. Golden State basketball. Now it's Curry. to Kaminga. Over Morris. And there's Kaminga. That one's good on the assist from Curry. Well, the scoring is the fun part, but I like to watch Steph Curry and his ball handling magistry. Need to talk more about the way he makes his teammates better. Now here's George. Leonard for three. It's hauled in by Sarge. Golden State with the ball. Last time they met in Los Angeles where they beat the Clippers. The last time out, they barely captured a win against this team. And it came down to some key turnovers. Wiggins right now just using force, challenging the defense, and sometimes making them get very physical with his play. Shoot two. Free throw drops for Wiggins. You know, Grant, what's interesting about the Clippers, they play solid defense, even though they're not overly disruptive. Well, B, think about this. So many veterans, they know how to position themselves. They know where the help is coming from, too. And, of course, they know when to pick their spots. So he gets them both. And Brent, the offensive style of this Warriors team, they stand apart from the rest of the league. Well, it's that perimeter shooting that's just so elite VA that really sets them apart. They move the ball, they move themselves, but they can really shoot it. And when those shots are falling, this team is incredibly difficult to stop. There's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. But he might lack in height at the four spot. He makes up for it with his burst. So it's the Clippers now, following the score by Golden State. Top Morris. He's watched by Kuminga. Offensive board. Plumley. Slam dunk by Plumley. Well, don't get surprised by that burst from Plumley. He crashes in for the rebound, has the athleticism, and finishes with authority. 
Inside. Here's Sharich. Blocked! And that's out of bounds. Golden State will retain possession. Curry from deep three-point land. Misses the three. Used the pump fake well, but they couldn't capitalize. Here's Leonard. And rejected. Instincts there. George is able to get in there and challenge his opponent. And around two minutes played here in the first quarter. Leonard to three. So great to see Steph taking on the challenge defensively, getting up into his man that time. Pass to Kaminga. Back to Curry. That one goes. Now he's one for two. The defensive effort was lacking. But hey, give him credit for finding a weakness there. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Now here's Morris. Looking at his stats. He's putting up about seven and a half per game. Well, Leonard usually has humble assist numbers, but that doesn't mean he's not going to keep his eyes open. And there's Curry on the assist by Thompson. Attacking in the pit area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. The Clippers have gone two for seven. A sluggish start on the wing man. It's Torch on the wing. And the Clippers oh, hit again George. from deep. And George's guys encourage him to just fire away. They know he's lethal from there. And a deep three from Curry. That won't go either for Curry. Here's Man. He's watched by Kuminga. Man, the pass to Morris. That one's good. This game is all even. Morris has got a second bucket of the night. Nice work in the interior. Morris using that six foot eight inch height to his advantage. Wiggins outside. Pass to Curry. Three pointer. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more in the line. Shooting for the Clippers. Terrence Mann. Off the line for one. We all love going to Oakland, but the Chase Center is just incredible, Brent. Uh, what a magnificent, sparkling, brand new building they have. Like most arenas, the Warriors practice facility is also in the building for the players, so it makes it very easy for them day after day and night after night to come do the work that's necessary to be a championship team. First one falls for him. When you think of Clay Thompson, most people think of that three point shot, but really it's Clay's ability as a two way player on the perimeter that has been a standout talent. Russell Westbrook, he's checked in for George. So he makes both front line. Well, a great player on a great role at the charity stripe. But D has got to be careful about being 
too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Westbrook has to Leonard. Ooh, and Leonard throws it down. Yeah, you could be as physical as you want with Kawhi Leonard. He just stays with it and is unshaken. Pass to Wiggins. Now Thompson. There's the three. Leonard pulls down the board. Here's Nan. He's covered by Curry. Again, the Clippers score. The Warriors trailing. To the paint. Here's Curry. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Curry's got six. I mean, that should be a tough shot with contact, but not for Steph Curry, I guess. Thompson against Westbrook. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Clay Thompson picks one up. So the officials were right on top of that one. Shooting for the Clippers. Russell Westbrook. At the line for two. Drops the first. Russell Westbrook just out there and focused, trying to find ways in which he can help out his team and secure any win. And he makes the first, but misses the second. And here's Kuminga. He'll bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. Trailing by four. They defeated Utah in their last game. And it wasn't just their starters putting in work. Their backups were real sparklers on offense. Yeah, saw the box score of that game the next day, and I thought, wow, that's a huge scoring night. Pretty impressive stuff there. Leonard. And the Clippers again. Good shot. Gone bad. Got to finish there. The kick out to Wiggins. From downtown. He drains out one after two misses. Now one for three. Right now, helping the offense out by creating space. Andrew Wiggins dead enough from that spot and it's Westbrook off the drive past a man stolen by Thompson left side Curry to the inside Sharich can't get the go ahead bucket oh old school right there no easy buckets Leonard against Thompson Leonard passes to Westbrook oh nice D from Curry Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests. And that's just enough. Now here's Leonard. He had a 15 point outing in their last game against Minnesota. And also impressive, his work on the glass. He was tenacious and relentless. Man, he's got that touch working tonight, shooting the ball very well. Let's start this one. Wiggins looking around. Knocked away. Here's man. Warriors with the rebound. Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession. If they can get it, he doesn't make them all, but still very much high percentage look. I just love how he runs the floor with energy and intensity, but still stays under control. Do you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition. And that helps get the rhythm going. Golden State calls timeout. And some changes here for the Warriors. Payton's checked in for Wiggins. Moody comes in for Thompson. And it's Paul in for Stephen Curry. And a new group getting ready for the Clippers. Zubac, he's checked in for Plumley. Martin comes in for Morris. Al, he's checked in for Kawhi Leonard. And it's Highland in for man. That's what Paul does best. He has made a great scoring opportunity. Highland against Paul. Back to Zubats. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. They get so much effort and energy from Zubats. Especially on the glass, friend. Well, he's the kind of guy, B.A., I don't think any other opponent wants to face on a given night. A relentless big man that's physical, that plays around the rim, that doesn't mind contact. 
This guy is willing to sacrifice his body every minute he's on the floor. And the basket by Highland. And they keep on figuring out ways to force the rock inside and convert. And for the Warriors, they're shooting about 47% during this first quarter. To the middle. And here's Kamega for three. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. They want to keep rolling here following a win against Minnesota. They really had a strong night shooting the basketball. They got hot and stayed hot. Saw the ball score the next day and thought about those percentages. They had guys just going off in that. Here's Powell. Good D by Peyton. Golden State with the ball. For point game. Here's Moody. Oh, that's struck for the block. And Russell just bringing it right now on defense. against Peyton. Pass to Paul. Six to shoot. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Well, Westbrook out there playing defense like an interior decorator great all over. Paul against Highland. Westbrook outside. And here's Kaminga. Playing Utah, he was nearly unstoppable. Here's Paul. He can't get it to go. Excellent D there from Westbrook. And he's going for the oop here. Nice job by Russell, just not forcing anything on that play. And it's Paul with the ball for the Warriors. They trail by six. Out left of the wing. And here are the Clippers now. A big stretch here going. 10 to 2. Here's Highland. And Chris Paul clears it away. And here are the Warriors now. Payton attacking. Booming up the pass to charge. Here's Moody. Takes it inside. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Zubat. Golden State basketball. And the Warriors making a switch here. Shot clock at five. Here's Kuminga. Some solid defense from Martin. Gotta appreciate the aggressive defense he brings. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. Powell's shot is off. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Upside Paul. 102 left to play in the first quarter. Soft touch off the glass. See if he's using his quickness there. Doesn't have the size. But we know he's got the will. Powell, left side. That's good. His first made shot in three attempts. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets here. Charge against Zubats. The fader. It's hauled in by the Clippers. He wanted to keep that shot from getting blocked, but in the process, he gave it no chance of going in because of how unbalanced he was on the fade. Just so successful getting the ball in and finding those great looks. Here's Sharich, following the score by the Clippers. Pass to Moody, takes a three. Pure from three-point range. And Sharich, just one of those European players that comes over with the fundamentals. Beautiful play there. Now Westbrook. The three. Second shot opportunity. And it's good. Hang on here. The officials may want to take a look at it on the replay monitor. And it looks like they are going to review the play. 
The question, did he get the basket off in time or not? Uh, yeah, the replay makes it obvious. I mean, he got that shot off in time. It should be an easy decision for the officials. So the replay was conclusive. All overturned. Grant, that one's going to count. And B.A., you can argue against replay all you want. But at the end of the day, you want it to be a level playing field. You want the call to be correct. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. Just pounding the painted area. It's helped them build an advantage. We'll be back in a moment. Continues. Happy Valentine's Day again to everyone out there. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Clippers guys. Oh, what I love was that first quarter was all about leaking out and capitalizing in transition. It felt like they knew that there were openings in transition and just wanted to keep trying to feed that, get out quick. The Warriors trail. Thompson and Wiggins at the forward positions. Then there's Dario Saric. Then there's Stephen Curry, and it's Pajemski in at the shooting guard position. That's the group for Golden State as we kick off the second quarter. Now here's Thompson. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Utah. And the shot's good by Wiggins. In this era, the position was basketball. Versatile wings are in high demand, Brent. Every team in the league, B.A., looking for that guy between 6'7 and 6'8 that has a lot of skill and can defend multiple positions, space the floor, Threes and make plays. So becoming a complete a basketball player at that position is something that is really coveted by front offices. Curry with it. He had 25 points in the win against Utah. Wiggins outside. Pass to Sharich. Nails it. And he's one for five with that one. Fighting through the contact. Dario does a great job that time. man. He's covered by Curry. Knocked loose. Stolen by Wiggins. Down low. And there's Sharon. on the assist from Curry. Curry's got three assists tonight. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Ali. Brian, the Clippers next yes. season will inaugurate their oh, futuristic new home court in Inglewood, designed to give fans every comfort. And the Clippers a distinct advantage as well. Along the baseline, 5,000 fans will fill 51 uninterrupted rows. The section, nicknamed The Wall, is acoustically designed to be loud. So, Brian, better get ready. <laughs> Turn it up. Thanks, Alec. So it's the Clippers now. The Warriors getting their last shot to go. They get it back. Back to Leonard. Another shot. Trained it for two points. Leonard's got his third bucket of the night. Affecting that shot early on in his career. Kawhi loves to get to that one. All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. That's tipped. Here's George. He had 25 points in the win against Minnesota. Also, his ability to push the action and get to the line made a huge difference. Again, the miss by Leonard. Well, his shooting has been a little bit below par. You think about what this lead would look like if he was on. The shot's good. Nice play from Andrew Wiggins. That's a strong move in the face of some pretty good deep. George for three. Counted from distance. George has got six. Ooh, explosive crossover. How's that for a move? Now here's Curry. He has six. And here's Thompson for three. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Curry's got five assists in the game. And they're in a better flow this quarter offensively. And 
their shooting percentage is steadily rising as a result. Here's George, and they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. You know, the early years when Paul George came into the league with the Pacers, you wondered how his frame would fill out. It's filled out nicely. All right, guys, a breakdown here of the hustle stats for the Clippers. So far, they've had a lot of success off fast break plays, and they'll probably continue to push the tempo as much as possible. When you make the most of second chance opportunities, and you're in there and active, well, that can really put a lot of pressure on the defense. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. You know, over his career, Paul George has racked up more than his fair share of accolades, Grant. Well, he's a fixture at All-Star Weekend, that's for sure. Now, he's made the all-defensive team more than a few times. He's had an outstanding career. Now here's Leonard. Six points for him. Pass to George. And a Stephen Curry with the rebound. And so Curry will bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. And a quick look here at some of the numbers for Clay Thompson. At the line for the Dubs, Andrew Wiggins. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw misses. And Andrew Wiggins came into this league as such a special talent. It's so great to see all of that blossoming this far into his career. And a look at the stripe this time. Second one won't fall. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Leonard passes to Plumley. Getting far more adept at operating in traffic. I like that Plumley was able to adjust to the situation and convert with the hand in his face. Golden State calls timeout. They're giving up a lot of points in the paint. That's something they have to address here. If coach knows that, they know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it. Make the adjustment. And this break lets us see the teams making the most of their second chances this season. The Clippers third. You've got to respect the work ethic of these guys on the offensive glass. They don't give up on possessions and hit the boards with aggression. And here's Curry. He's got six. Hayden, no good. It's tough to get open in this league, and when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. Here's Mann, guarded by Pete. Here's Plumley. Again, the Clippers score. That's where Plumley operates best. The closer to the basket, the better chance he has of converting. Curry passes to Charge. Outside Curry. Six on the shot clock. Back to Wiggins. Can they get it? The rebound by Mann. For Los Angeles, they've gone 7 for 11 in the second quarter. To the paint. Plumley down low. Charge covers. Basket's good. And now it's a 12-point Clipper lead. Well, for people who question some toughness and determination, Plumley's showing off that he can finish through contact and growing in both of those areas. Now here's Wiggins. An 11-point game for him in the win against the Jazz in Salt Lake City. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. The key for Sharich is to be out there and be aggressive because when he plays assertive like this, he's going to draw some fouls. Dario Sharich. Shooting two. Throw good, Sharch. A 
Grant, you grew up in the D.C. area. A lot of great basketball players coming out of the DMV in recent years. Yeah, yeah, especially PG County with Kevin Durant, Jeremy Grant, and plenty of others. It was a great place to grow up in the DMV as a sports fan, and that legacy definitely continues. And both free throws, good for Sharich. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? And he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. Pass to man. Let's the three fly. Yes, oh, and it's man. George picking up the assist. Man's got eight. Now shooting the three ball at almost 60%. They've been blazing this second quarter. Peyton finds Curry. Back to Peyton. This one for three. And the Warriors miss again. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. George outside. Easy two on the layup. 11 points in the game. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Murray passes to Charge. Morris against Wiggins. To the inside. Thompson. Oh, Clay! Takes the contact and finishes. Oh, man. Just such a confident score. Seeing Clay get into these areas on the floor. It's still being effective. Got to appreciate that part of his game. Timeout called. The Clippers. Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. And some changes here for the Warriors. Kaminga comes in for Sharich. And it's Chris Paul in for Curry. Martin, he's checked in for the Clippers. Russell Westbrook comes in for man. Now here's Paul. 17 points for him. Last game against the Jazz in Salt Lake City. It felt like in that game, too, he was a man on a mission defensively, finishing up with four steals. This is an impressive feat. And you can tell he takes pride in that part of the game. Wiggins against Martin. Pass to Paul. Back to Wiggins. Here's the three. It's rebounded by George. Great job of closing the space and getting a hand up. Yeah, as good as you can do without getting a block there to defend. Westbrook finds Powell. Back to Westbrook. Fires top of the key. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Westbrook's got his third basket on the night right there. Pass to Kaminga. Back to Paul. Wiggins outside. Thompson with it. Beyond the arc. Plumley pulls it down the board. Plumley's got a six rebound on the night. Peyton against Powell. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It's going to be on Jonathan Kaminga. There's an underrated scoring aspect for Norman Powell and what he can do. He can drive, get inside, or he can knock down a jumper. That's a tough cover. That one falls to Powell. Yeah, can't sleep on Powell defensively. He will step up and start to pour it in. Moody's checked in for the Warriors. And a switch here also for the Clippers. Highlands checked in. Good on both. Zero wasted trips. They're doing their job at the line. And so it's Paul who brings up the ball for Golden State. 17-point game. Pass to Wiggins. First quarter was a bit shaky. Good to see a player who doesn't let a slow start get to him. The 11-footer. Westbrook can't hit. That's yeah, pretty much the only way to keep him from taking advantage of you down low. you got to play tough, physical defense. 
And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's the aggressive part of Andrew Wiggins coming out of him, forcing the defender that time to get his hand in there. Andrew Wiggins. Shoot two. And he can't get the first one. Zubats, he's checked in for Plumley. And he sinks the second. Now Highland. Taking a look at his numbers, averaging about 11 a game. And he got the whistle on the way up, so he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It goes on Chris Paul. You know, talking about Bones Highland, he's a player who helps provide a jolt to the team. And Bones is the kind of guy who lives on the edge a little bit, and you just got to be careful that he doesn't go overboard. I mean, he does so many things. He does him so quickly he's just got to slow down at times to make the best play possible and that one falls for highland and they've capitalized well from the free throw line their percentage is impressive So Highland nails both of them. The Warriors have gone 8 of 15 in the second. Highland against Paul. Outside Kaminga for three. Yes, and it's Paul with the assist that time. Paul's got his third assist of the night. And this fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And yeah, the coach pretty smart for zoning in him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Now here's Highland taking a look at his numbers, averaging about 11 a game. Down to five on the shot clock. Charity stripe shot, and that's his fourth bucket of the game in seven attempts. Doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead, and now he's helped them keep it. Paul passes to Moody. Outside Paul. Driving it in. Rebound by the Clippers. Well, you can tell right there he just wanted to go for the jam, but the defense too good and distracting. Pass to Powell. From behind the arc. Kaminga pulls it in. And for the Warriors, they're shooting about 44% so far. Wiggins passes to Thompson. Clay busting it up inside. So overwhelmed inside. That's why they continue to get attacked. Powell against Thompson. Here's Zubats. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three second call. All right, let's look back over the last 10 games now. And see which teams were topping the charts in three point shooting. Number five, the Clippers. Incredible accuracy from deep over the past couple games. Great floor spacing. And, of course, their shooters have all the confidence in the world right now. Now here's Wiggins. And the powerful one-handed slam. This is Wiggins having one of those nights. Where he's earning it all. Monster game here. Westbrook outside. Deflected. Inside. Here's Kaminga. I just love the ball move. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Here's Highland. He's looking good. Two buckets and three attempts. Like a matador. Ole! There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now. Just gift wrapping points. 
it in the post. He can't get that one to fall. Oh, great D that time from Powell. And he can't get that one. It's just all effort from Clay Thompson. Getting up into his man. That's just tenacious D. Paul George. He's feeling it tonight. He's been the driving force for Los Angeles. Eight points in the quarter. Showing how effective he can be. All right, Allie's ready to go. G courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks, guys. Alongside Ty Lu and Coach, what's the focal point for this team as you approach the second half? Just playing hard, first of all. And then, you know, playing with pace offense, I think they're doing a good job of getting to the basket. And then defensively, it's going to be some time to work things out, but they've been pretty good. Pace so critical to your team's success this year. Thanks, Coach. Okay, Allie, appreciate it. And, folks, we'll be back after halftime to begin the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet. Kenny Smith, let's get to it. The Clippers have the edge here at halftime. They lead by 11. Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Clippers? They're running some great offense right now. Working the ball in the good spots, taking what the defense gives them, not forcing them shots. We'll see if they can maintain that discipline in the second half. And over to Kenny now. How'd you think the Warriors were playing? They couldn't get anything from beyond that. Obviously, plenty of bad shots. But they couldn't even hit wide open ones. They need to regroup, tell it, regroup with some kind of rhythm and get off pace. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. How about Andrew Wiggins? Man, is he playing well. Through two quarters of play, he's been an excellent source of points. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. So, on the floor for the Clippers. Kawhi is the small forward with Morris holding down the four spot. Paul George out there with Terrence Mann. And it's Plumley in at the five, roaming the paint. Now here's Wiggins. Denied by Leonard. One of the most versatile defenders in the NBA. Kawhi Leonard getting all of that. All right, let's get a report from Alley. Well, Brian, in his 10th season in the league, Mason Plumley started shooting left-handed. He said, quote, it felt good changing, and the more I practice, it just shorted up my decision. It's about the result, and I'm happy I made the change. I don't even question it, and that's where I like to be. Brian? Well, it's working for him, whatever he's doing. Ali, good stuff there. Thank you. Kuminga. Rebound by the Clippers. Plumley's got rebound number seven tonight. Pass to Leonard. George outside. Back to Plumley. Here's Mann. He's covered by Curry. A nice balance from Kawhi Leonard there. And a little BUMP. Leonard says, that doesn't bother me whatsoever. So poised. Curry looking it over. Pass to Wiggins. Outside Curry. Puts up a deep three. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Plumley's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Leonard against Wiggins. And a nice finish on the layup. Leonard's gotten four this quarter. They have no answer defensively inside. Curry passes to Sharich. The three from Thompson. Plumley pulls down the board. Plumley's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Here's Mann. Give him eight. Pass to Morris. Launches a three. Knocks it down Marcus from distance. Morris, senior. Morris has Rebound. got eight points. Well, great start. Check that box. They made their first four shots, guys, and the offense looking very fluid right now. Ali Oop up top. Hammer it home. He makes that look so easy. Andrew Wiggins 
up and down on the alley oop. And the shot goes. 12 points for him. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Golden State calls timeout. Here. Payton's checked in. Sharitz finds Curry. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Man, the pass to George. Leonard with the ball. Guarded by Payton from the strike. And again, Kawhi it's the Clippers. <laughs> and they've come out of halftime really on a roll. Thompson outside. To the middle. Here's Kuminga. And that one's long. Now Los Angeles with it. They've got a 13-2 run going. George, no good. Golden State has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Kuminga's shot is off. Los Angeles has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Thompson against George. No good there. Nice D from Thompson. And he's having an ugly quarter from the field. It seems really frustrating. Shots good by Sharich. Oh, very clever from Curry. They're attracting the defense and then just giving it away. Here's man. Give him eight. Pass to Leonard. Over Payton. And the Clippers miss again. Got to appreciate the aggressive defense he brings. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. Now here's Curry. He's got six. Fires for three. And the three-pointer goes. Curry's got nine. I mean, what's new? Steph, three more. Leonard against Payton. Leonard passes to Plumley. It's good. Houston, and the Plumlee. assist that time from Leonard. Leonard's Hawaii got his Leonard. fourth assist in this one. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. Now here's Curry. He's got nine. The three is up. And the Warriors with another three. It doesn't matter. Once Steph Curry crosses half court, you're in trouble. You talk about players that mean so much to their team. Stephen Curry at the top of that list, Brent. Yeah, you just look at the numbers, B.A. They're staggering about what happens when this team doesn't have Steph Curry on the floor. And really, Curry becomes the entirety of the way this offense works. Count it. That's his sixth field goal in 12 tries. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. And the Warriors call time here. Paul George with a strong contribution so far in this one. Yeah, they got to be using this timeout to think about a personnel change or a game plan change to try to slow him down. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And if you're looking for proficiency in scoring over the last month, look no further than this group. Third is Mason Plumley, And, of course, Ivica Zubats. Each of these two have been awesome offensively during the last month. Both great options from the floor. Inside. Curry with it. 12 points for him. It's Pajemski. Connects from downtown. Pajemski's gotten himself going. Here, his first point to the game on the deep ball. The Clippers have gone eight of 13 in the second half. Leonard passes to Zubat on the wing man. Shot clock at six, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jonathan Kaminga. That's his third foul of the game, and the Clippers making a change here. Westbrook's checked in. Russell Westbrook. Golden State on D. 
Here's George. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. Westbrook's got his fourth assist with that last one. And nothing you can do right there as George is aggressive, getting to the inside and over the top of the defense. Curry finds Kaminga. Here's Potemski. The shot off that time. And George with some nice D. Here's Leonard. Can't hit that one. And Curry's got the ball here for the Warriors. Trailing by 17. Here's Kuminga. Rebound by the Clippers. Zubats has got four rebounds now. He's lost his rhythm completely this quarter, but he's determined to stay after it. Stout defense comes from not only contesting the shot, but also grabbing the board. Here's Wiggins. And again, no good by Golden State. Los Angeles has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. George against Payton. George's shot is off. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. They get it again. And the focus of Wiggins to convert. And man, I love it when Wiggins gets vertical. Such an impressive athlete. Here's George. It's rebounded by Golden State. To the inside, Wiggins. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. A dynamic finish, then decides to hang out a little. Good measure. Yep, that's the exclamation point right there. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. And one more time, let's hear it. For the Clippers, Martin, he's checked in for Morris. Norm Powell comes in for Leonard, and it's Highland in for George. Westbrook against Curry. Pass to Highland. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Wiggins. All right, time for an injury report. All right, let's get an update on Dario Sharge's injury. Allie, what you find out? Hi, guys. The head athletic trainer for the Warriors provided some info for us. He told me that some strained elbow ligaments are the concern. At this time, doesn't appear to be any major damage. Well, we appreciate it, Allie. Hoping to see him back on the court soon, guys. They really hope to have him back, but it's so crucial that he's healthy when he returns. And just with his effort level alone, Zubats can put pressure on any defense. It's time to get some trip to the line. And to look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for Los Angeles. Yeah, they were so aggressive from the start, getting the ball into the painted area. Now, they stuck to their game plan, and it paid off. You probably have to touch on as well that tonight their penetration has been awesome. I mean, they put force on this game, attacking off the bounce, and a willingness to do that has paid off. First free throw is good. All right, Grant, talking about Avica Zubac, what do you like most about his game? Well, just his defensive presence. I mean, he's willing to challenge shots at the rim, refusing to give anything easy. And Zubac drops them both. Part of a dying breed, let's say. Avica Zubac is a traditional five. Is that okay? We can say that, right? Lives in the paint and not on the perimeter. Now here's Paul. Giving them some good production. Putting up just around 16 and a half points a game. Down low. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. to try to make it a three-point play. Defensive foul. Kenyon Martin Jr. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Dubs, Andrew Wiggins. One shot. One shot. Los Angeles has gone one of four here in the third from range. Wiggins 
against Westbrook. Uh, he just has physical tools to make it go in there and foul him. Westbrook back to the line. At the line for the Clippers, Russell Westbrook. Two shots. Shooting two. Free throw, no good. Good on the second one. And it's the Warriors with the ball. Paul looking over the floor. Curry takes it in. Zubats against Kaminga. Wiggins outside. Four on the clock. Rebounded by Highland. And so it's Highland who brings up the ball for Los Angeles. 13 point lead. Back to Westbrook. To Zubats. Shoots over Kaminga. A nice shot by Zubats. Zubats. Zubats has got 10 points in the game. No match for Zubats overpowering the defender. Two minutes remaining in the third. Now here's Paul. There's a minute 54 left to play in the third. From the high post. It's rebounded by Zubats. Zubats has got six rebounds here tonight. Pass to Highland. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. Give him eight. No need to risk a shot from range when you can take it inside. Paul passes to Curry. Back to Paul. There's the drive. And that one drops. Defense is not able to keep up with the Brown, speed Stephen. and really the awareness of Chris Paul that time. Up top, Highland. He's guarded by Paul. Pass to Zubats. Excellent D there from Kuminga. Golden State has got three of six threes to fall in the third quarter. Here's Moody. Here's Westbrook. Count it. Russell, Westbrook. And the Clippers. Clippers lead by 17. Well, this is Westbrook just being an ultra competitor. He gets in there and the defense has nothing to do. Pass to Curry. Now Paul. Now here's Wiggins. He's guarded by Martin. Clock at six. Wiggins passes to Paul. No good on the triple. Well, his shots aren't dropping. And they haven't been able to keep pace, but they trust him enough to keep going to him, see if he can find it. Now here's Highland. Give him eight points now. Pass to Westbrook. Goes back up. And it's good Russell, on the lay-in. Westbrook's got five points now this quarter. And Westbrook just absolutely skying for that offensive rebound. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Clippers ahead, up 19. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, is peripheral vision.
And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Thompson out there with Gary Payton the second. Then there's Chris Paul. Then there's Dario Saric. And it's Pajemski in at the two-guard position. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Yeah, you would think a coach might have talked to his defense about making the adjustment on him, but right now, he's just lighting him up. Peyton's shot is good. A typical jumper against a much taller defender. That's what confidence can do for you. Morris outside. Here's Mann. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. And as general manager of the Austin Spurs, how important is the G League when it comes to player development, Brent? Well, it's, it's such a learning ground, B.A., for everybody. Not just the players, but the coaching staff, the training staff, even game ops people uh, that want to put the, the proper show on for the fans that show up to see the game. But for the players specifically, it gives them great experience that they're not going to get while in the NBA sitting on a bench somewhere. They're on the floor, they're getting great coaching, and they're developing their skills every day. So that G for us stands for growth. Now here's Westbrook. To the paint. Here's Morris. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Kawhi Leonard's checked in for the Clippers. Marcus Morris Sr. at the line for one. Find the lane. Find the lane. Good shot. important role player for this team. Morris knows he's out there to stretch the floor and shoot it. And here's Paul. Sharitz finds Paul. Outside Peyton. Pass to Pajemski. And there's the slam! Jump to finish it off. Now that's how you capitalize on a screen. Yeah, good positioning, too. Gave him a clear path to the hoop. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. Now here's George. It's good. Oh, Off the glass. George has got five points now in the quarter. Yeah, just not going to get too cute with it here. Get the ball to PG and let PG cook. It's stolen by Leonard. Hey, hey, got it. Over Thompson. The putback. Oh, they get a hand on it. And so it's Paul who brings up the ball for the Warriors. Payton passes to Paul. Back to Payton. Oh, and the fast break for the Clippers. <laughs> they began the play with active defense, and they finished the play with active offense. Well, a lot of times coaches will tell you that if you play great defense, you're going to get a reward. That was a good possession all the way around. Peyton against Morris. Battles through traffic and lays it in. And that's exactly how you attack Leif. I love how he doesn't lack assertiveness. Yeah, hard to stop it there if you're the big man. That's just too good a shot and great concentration. Now here's Leonard. Pass to Plumley. George outside. Five to shoot. Again, the Clippers oh, score. How about the handles of a guy like Paul George and his size being able to rip around and has total confidence in his ability to score? Here's Pajemski to the middle. Plumley against Sharich. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And a chance now to look at the schedule for the Golden State Warriors. On Thursday, they'll face off against Anthony Davis and the Los Angeles Lakers. Then on Friday, they'll go up against Gordon Hayward and the Charlotte Hornets. And you know for that matchup with Washington, anything can happen in the NBA. But they'll be a heavy favorite, and it would take a total meltdown for them to lose. That one's off. And the NBA adding a minimum amount of games played for major awards 
now. What do you think about that, Brent? Yeah, I love it. I love the fact that everybody's going to have to reach a certain marker in order to be eligible. That keeps guys hungry, keeps guys wanting to be healthy and work through injuries and push themselves a little bit. It also forces teams to get their star players on the floor and do what they can to make sure that they're getting the production that they need from the guys that they're paying most. So I love the NBA adding that minimum amount of games for these awards to be handed out. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Outside Paul. Here's Pajemski. George defending. The three from Thompson. Fires in the triple. The strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Now here's George. And the layup falls. Oh, George has got 17 points here in the second half. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Pass to Pajemski. To the inside. Here's Sharic. Banked it in off the glass. Oh, Sharic on the inside has really good quality footwork. For Los Angeles, they've gotten seven of their first ten shots to go during this fourth quarter. Shot by Leonard, no good. The Warriors have gotten all six shots to fall in the fourth quarter. Pass to Paul. Under the new collective bargaining agreement, the all-NBA teams will now be positionless. What do you think about that, Brent? Yeah, I love it. I mean, you're awarding the players that had the best seasons, and if it happens to be guard heavy or big heavy or wing heavy, so be it. The 15 best players are going to get the acknowledgement that all the hard work and all the consistency and what they put into the season, that's going to pay off. Now here's Sharic. Here's Pajemski. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Pajemski's got seven points here in the quarter. What an incredible ankle breaker to help create space for a shot. Man, the pass to George. And down it goes. Two points. And the Clippers lead by 21. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Pass to Pajemski. Payton with it. To the left wing. Left side, Paul. The rebound by Mann. Mann's got his fourth rebound in this one. Now Leonard, defended by Thompson. Here's Mann. Shoots over Paul. Mann misses. Pass to Paul. And there are some new league rules, Brent, to prevent those free-spending teams from severely outspending others. Yeah, it's kind of like helping them help themselves in some ways, B.A. There are teams that are way over the cap that can still keep the stars that they've got, but it'll be harder to acquire new players, free agents to sign the max deals, and add them to your team if you've already spent. So it's getting a little bit more spending for those that already spent. Coaching staff would like some more shots from that range. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. And with a big lead, it's easy to take your foot off the gas like they did there. Kaminga, he's checked in for the Warriors. Golden State has gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. Passes to Sharich. Outside Payton. And stolen by Leonard. Tries to break his ice. And the layup Kawhi is good. Leonard. Leonard's got 10 points here in the second half. Uh, and the claw at work. Just one reason why he's always a threat to lead the league in steals. Jump starts the fast break there. Tall passes to Sharich. And here's Thompson for three. And that basket makes him six for 11. Shooting a good percentage. Maybe he's thinking at this point, man. Somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. And here are the Warriors now. 
They're on a 14-6 run. Inside, Sharich. Yes, and it's Paul with the assist that time. Paul's got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. Here's Mann. Pass to George. Morris outside. There's the block. Now here's Sharich. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Sharich has got six here in the quarter. Knew exactly where his teammate would be. That's a product of good chemistry. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. And the other team is running all over them right now. The timeout before the timeout here. Maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit-chat with the team to settle down. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Paul George. He has truly put on a show out there tonight, tearing it up on both ends of the floor. So impressive. And the other squad has looked helpless to stop him. Wow, did this game really turn out to be his show? A commanding performance like that makes for a sweet victory, especially on the road. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. During that last break, Coach Tyron Lue had some advice for the team. He loves what the D has been able to accomplish, saying to his team, every turnover is a big success for us. Keep forcing those errors. Don't let them feel comfortable out there. So expect them to keep trying to be disruptive. Good job there, Allie. Thanks. Here's Mann. The shot that time, not on target. Paul with some nice D. Kuminga, the pass to Wiggins. Now Thompson puts up a three. And the Warriors with another three! This has been their game plan here in the final period. We'll see if it continues to work out. It's one thing to have teams shoot a bunch of threes, but with this team being that hot defensively, you got to chase them away from anywhere near that line. Paul passes to Sharp. I like the effort there from Sharich on the jumper. Sees the defender, but still sticks with it. Second team foul. At the line for the Warriors, Dario Sharich. Two shots. He misses the free throw. And the second free throw is good. Here's Mann. Wiggins. Oh, look at Wiggins rising inside. Toughness there from Andrew Wiggins. Would like to see more baskets like that one from him. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. And things are always changing throughout a game. Teams have to adjust on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. Warriors on D. Now Plumley. Pass to Morris to win the drought. Hey, now five for eight. We're shooting a pretty good percentage right now. And how about the quick shot there for Morris? Not allowing the defense to get anywhere near it. Here's Thompson. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Third team foul. At the line for the Dubs, Clay Thompson. Shot. 
He hits the first one, and that brings him with an eight. And so he hits both. There's a minute 54 left to play in the fourth quarter. George against Thompson. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Clay Thompson picks one up. That straight line drive there from Paul George. You'd love to see him get in that attack mode. Let's we'll see if he can cash in now at the line. Shooting two. First free throw is good. And that stretches their lead to eight. And George wants to compete for titles, especially considering that he's in the back half of his career. And the Warriors making a change here. Curry's checked in. He hits both free throws here and it's a nine point game here 143 left in the fourth quarter lets it go from 11 curry creates inside well, those mechanics and that kind of time it's pretty stuff from Steph Curry. morris outside pass to george is the glass on the layup. George has got 34 points. Yeah, Paul George anticipating contact, preparing for it. And just how smooth the finish was that, Kevin. And here's Wiggins. A minute four left in the fourth quarter here. Sharad's shot is off. And even though he couldn't send the shot back at him, he certainly altered it. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. Leonard! strong with the shot and this is a game they can build off of they kept their focus all game long and it will get marked as a win for the Clippers all their efforts on the boards ended up paying off and just two tough rebounding teams but they gave the extra effort and were rewarded for it and for the year now they've chalked up 35 wins yeah, it was a fun matchup this year. Neither oh, team could Lord. gain an edge. It's the kind of rivalry you want to see between conference opponents. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for Paul George. So impressed with his performance today. He was confident, he was composed, and the defense just didn't know how to adjust. George scanning the floor. So no problem for the Clippers as they get the, the win. The they have to feel good about this performance. Again, it's one they can be proud of. Very true. I mean, when you're out on the road, the wins can feel a little sweeter. This one has to feel extra special. All right, now let's check in with Ali LaForce. Ali, what do you have? Kawhi, you're a lead at both ends of the court. How tough is it to carry the scoring load and have such a responsibility defensively? Well, uh, it's very difficult. Uh, you know, your mind's on the whole game, 48 minutes. But, uh, you know, my teammates give me in the groove, give me the energy to keep fighting throughout the whole 48 minutes. You can never take a break mentally or physically to be great on both ends, and that's something you've worked so hard for. Congrats on the win tonight. Allie, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Brent Berry, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's game. So long, everyone.